And today we're taking a look at how to make apple pie. Simple and easy. And this is an easy recipe anyone could do. Everything used on the video, we're gonna leave a link on the description. And we're using a whole bag of apples. This particular bag has nine apples. And we're using Granny Smith apples. But you can use any apple that you like. The first thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and wash our apples. Then let's go ahead and peel them. But if you feel adventurous today and on the daredevil side, you can go ahead and peel them with a knife. You let them know that not only Rambo is the only one that can handle one. Now that we have our apples peeled, we can go ahead and slice them. And how thin or thick you want them is all up to you. We like to go on the medium side so everybody can be happy. Remember you are king or queen or both of your castle. So those that go against the king or queen don't eat today. Let's go ahead and place the slices on a bowl. Let's go ahead and start working on our filling. We're gonna add three quarters of a cup of white sugar, one quarter of a teaspoon of salt, three quarters of a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, one eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg, two tablespoons of all purpose flour or cornstarch, and lastly, two tablespoons of lemon juice. Now let's go ahead and mix. And then we can leave it there for 20 minutes to 45 minutes. And this is gonna get all the good juices out the apple. Let's go ahead and take our butter and cut it in cubes. And we wanna make sure that the butter is coming out right out the freezer. The coldest, the better. And we're using a total of two sticks today, but now we're only gonna cut in cubes one and a half sticks. Now let's go ahead and make some pie crust. And we're gonna use the food processor to get that done. But now that you feel black belt like, you can use two samurai swords, two Rambo knives, two forks, or the deadliest of them all, a pastry cutter. Let's go ahead and add two cups of all purpose flour, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking powder, one tablespoon of sugar. We can go ahead and add the butter, and we're gonna pulse it a couple of times to mix everything in. Now we can go ahead and start adding our water. And we're gonna do that a tablespoon at a time. And we wanna make sure that the water is ice cold. So adding a couple of cubes of ice will go a long way. We can start by adding three tablespoons and pulse. Now we could turn on the food processor and start adding one tablespoon of water until everything is well mixed. Now let's go ahead and flour our working surface. We can dump our dough Sprinkle some more flour on top and create a disc form. Now we can go ahead and place that on a Ziploc bag on the freezer for 20 minutes. Now we can go back to our filling. Let's go ahead and mix it once again. And as you can see, all the juices have fall to the bottom. What we're gonna do is go ahead and drain out that liquid and place it on a saucepan because we're taking it to the stove. We're gonna turn the stove on to medium low and add two tablespoons of cornstarch. Adding the cornstarch in a little bit of water and pre-mixing it before throwing it in, and it's gonna help you avoid any lumps. And this is gonna help thicken the pie filling. Once we see the mixture boil, we're gonna turn the stove off. And now we can add the half a stick of butter that we used to grease the pan. And now you can whisk away.
we let the mixture cool for a little bit and then mix it with the apples. Let's go ahead and grease the pan. Let's go ahead and take our dough out the freezer, dust our working surface, and we're gonna divide the dough on two pieces because one is for the bottom and one for the top. And we're gonna place one back on the freezer again. And remember to put it inside a Ziploc bag because if not, you can imagine what your freezers taste like. We're gonna take our rolling pin and dust it and we're gonna start pushing the dough down and rolling at the same time. And at the beginning, you're able to flip the dough. Once it starts stretching, you won't be able to. And remember, if you feel the dough that is sticky, you can add flour in small amounts. And our goal is to get the dough one inch or two inches bigger than the actual pie pan. Once we get there, we're gonna use the rolling pin to carry the dough to the pan. And you do that by rolling the dough slowly to the rolling pin. And remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. Remember that you're gonna place another dough on the top. We wanna fill in all the gaps. And using your tiny little scissors, we're gonna go ahead and cut the excess dough. And we reach the arts and craft part of the video where you're going to show your patience and overall technique to see if you can get that black belt you always wanted. We're going to crimp the dough all around using the two finger method with the one finger method. And this is a technique that has been handed down by generations and generations where you crimp the dough with the deadly one finger touch. Meanwhile, you hold the dough with two fingers, but we know that you can do it little grasshopper. Now let's go ahead and add our pie filling. We don't have to pre-cook the crust because this might go on the oven for 45 minutes to an hour. Let's go ahead and place our bottom part of the pie on the freezer. And we wanna do this to keep everything cold. We can go ahead and turn on our oven at 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's go ahead and dust our work surface, bring our top dough, and what we're gonna do is the same thing we did with the bottom one. We're gonna roll it out until we have one or two inches bigger than the pie pan. Bring out our pie from the freezer and picking up the dough with the rolling pin and placing it on top of the pie. Using our tiny scissors, cutting off any excess. And remember, all the dough that remains, you can make either another pie, a pie pocket, or save it on the freezer for a later date. And now that you have practiced the almighty finger technique, we can get another crack at it, crimping the dough. And remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. Remember that whoever goes against your kingdom, just call them and show them this happy face that you're making on the pie so they can see how you control the steel blade. It's always very important to let fruit pies ventilate. That's why we make the holes. Now you're almost done. Let's go ahead and take our brush and egg wash and pass it all over the pie. If you wanna know how to do egg wash, we're gonna leave a link on the description to that video. Once we've done that, now we can go ahead and sprinkle it with sugar. We think three is the magic number, but then we said, let's sprinkle it four times because that's how many techniques you mastered today. We can go ahead and place the pie on the oven for 20 minutes. A pro tip, placing a pan with water under the pie goes a long way because you don't wanna be the one scraping off that sugar off that oven. And especially if there's a spouse involved, you might lose the kingdom if that happens. After 20 minutes, you wanna place your oven on 375 degrees for 30 minutes. You can give yourself a pat in the back for a job well done. You have become one with the pie. Now comes the hardest part, letting that pie rest for two hours or until cool. But if you want a more tastier pie, leaving it overnight on the fridge, that's the way to go. Don't forget, if you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. That really helps. If you have any questions, place them in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe, follow us on social media. Thank you for watching. And here's a link to our latest video.